When our application starts, it starts with the initial view controller, which is sign in page. But at this moment, user doesn't have an account. So we do not have username and password to sign in with. And uh, to be able to sign in, we need to create a new account. But our register button, even though it, it is enabled, it doesn't do anything. All we do is just print out that register button is stopped when we click on it. So first of all, uh, let's uh, present a register new account page, this one, the register new account user interface when user clicks on the register new account button. Okay, and to do that, we need to go to sign in. Let me hide the bottom panel here. I'll go to sign in view controller and I need to open it in assistant editor. And here we have the register a new account button and when it's clicked, we call the register new account button top and this is where we see the print out that the button was tapped. I'll give it a little more space and I'll copy and paste a little piece of code that I have prepared. Okay, so uh, what it does, I will walk you through uh, the, the code now. So what it does is when user taps on this button, this function is called and then we need to instantiate view controller with the identifier like we refer to the storyboard and then from the storyboard we instantiate view controller that has an identifier register account uh, view controller and then we make sure that this identifier is of this type i mean this view controller that we are instantiating is of this type so um, the Xcode doesn't like register v account view controller. Uh, we don't have it, so let's go and fix it. Now we are instantiating register new account. So let's go to the register new account view controller and look up its identifier. I will open up the right side panel. I'll make sure my register new account is selected and either identity inspector here is the class that we are instantiating and here the identity storyboard ID. When I was creating this uh, user interface and Swift class, I have assigned same values to custom class and storyboard ID. So all I need to do to make sure it's correct, I'll just copy the value and then I'll go back to my sign in and here's my code and I'm instantiating view controller with identifier which is equal to this and in our case it's register user view controller and I need to replace this one as well register user view controller so now the error will go away and uh, we can oops and we can test this user interface Okay, we went to a different view controller. So when the button is stopped, we are creating a constant, a register view controller, which will hold the instantiated view controller. And then we are going to present this register view controller to the user. So once again, we are referring to the storyboard and that storyboard has a user interface, which is associated with the identifier that has a name register view controller and then we are assigning the instantiated view controller to this constant register view controller and we are presenting this constant so everything should work let's um, stop our application and run it again to tap on the register new account button and see how it works okay my application is up and running i will delete the output here and I'll tap on the sign in button sign in button is tapped that one works and when I click on register new account register new account user interface and present it I cannot dismiss it yet because those buttons are not enabled so let's go to the register new account and work a little bit with that interface 